When people think of Aberdeen, they think oil, whiskey and granite. It'd be safe to say that Aberdeen is known as a business city. But people are trying to change that now with the New Art Festival. Developed in collaboration with Aberdeen Inspired and Aberdeen City Council, New Art works with the City of Stavanger to create art murals all across the city to inspire creativity within it. Well, thanks to New Art, Aberdeen has a lot more art hidden around the city and even has tours to show it all off. But what do the creators themselves of Aberdeen think of the project? Well, here's Sarah Stroud, a filmmaker and lecturer at Nescol, to speak about it. I remember when New Art came to Aberdeen last year, I was really excited. I thought it was lovely to have these huge, vibrant murals all over the city. Um, yeah, I thought they were absolutely beautiful. Do you think this will inspire more creativity in the city and how? I think it will make more people interested in public art. And I think there's a lot of creativity happening in Aberdeen. It is a vibrant cultural city, but I think there's other things stopping creativity from blooming, and that's to do with uh, how art and design and drama and music are being cut from our schools. So although it's reflected across our city, it's sometimes not reflected in our schools in the same way because actually there's been so many financial cuts New Art is funded by the Business Partnership, so that's all about getting people into Aberdeen. And, you know, art seems to be the buzzword for, you know, cultural tourism, isn't it? Everybody has to, you know, everybody now sees the value of art galleries and theatre because it, it brings people to your city. What's your opinion of all the art being from people from outside of Aberdeen? artist myself I think it's important that you do provide a space for local people to show their work I couldn't just go and you know paint on a wall in Aberdeen and say I'm an artist I would be arrested so I think it is interesting uh, you know like I say it's been it's funded by the business partnership so they're paying for these international artists to travel around they do amazing work I do love it but I think there should be I think there was a couple of projects this year that were local wasn't there was a local historian, Gallus Quines, that one I think was a historian who worked with an artist, um, but I'm not sure how they're commissioned. It would be nice to see some transparency across what is the commissioning process, you know, because one of my friends who's a psychologist, when we were looking at the Gallus Quines, the mosaic artwork that's all about the local Aberdonian women that were either burnt as witches or who have done amazing things in history, a lot of the imagery was quite dark and a little bit sinister. Now, she's a psychologist and she works with a lot of mental health patients and she said, oh, you know, I have a client who would really struggle with seeing some of those images when she walked past the street. That would maybe like trigger a little bit of trauma response. So although we walk about and we think, oh, it's art, actually, I think it depends on what it's showing because maybe, you know, some of those things might impact people in ways that we don't sometimes think about, you know, especially when those ones are a little bit more sinister. Um, but in general, I'm all in favour of it. I think it's an amazing um, programme and I always get really excited every year that it happens. Where do you think the project will go next? I think the whole, like I say, the New Art project is all, it's getting wider, isn't it? It's not just like in the city centre, it's now like Holborn Street and I think businesses could maybe volunteer to have murals on their... Um, the businesses. Part of me wonders if the next step of new art will be, you know, designing in spaces, commercial spaces, like the Bon Accord Centre that are maybe quite ugly and underused, or the Trinity Centre. So actually, it's about making lots of different spaces um, cultural and, and relevant. Though we may still be considered a business city to the rest of the world, when you look away from the bigger picture and closer at the streets, you'll be sure to find the creativity of it on these granite walls.